Oh, what a wonderful, wonderful day, day I will never forget. After I've wandered in darkness away, Jesus, my Savior, I met. How y'all doing this morning? Hope y'all had a great night rest and are ready to get up and go this beautiful, beautiful Monday morning. Nothing like a Monday, right? Today, Monday, the 7th of March, we are looking at the spiritual gift of understanding. One of my favorite scriptures is Proverbs chapter 2 verse 6 which says for the Lord gives wisdom out of his mouth comes knowledge and understanding so this verse tells us who the source of wisdom is the Lord all throughout Proverbs we find that Jesus has the same attributes as wisdom also but the verse tells us also that we can receive knowledge and understanding from him. The Lord is our source of understanding. In 1 John 5 verse 20, John says, And we know that the Son of God has come and has given us an understanding that we may know him who is true, and we are in him who is true, in his Son, Jesus Christ. This is the true God and eternal life. So again, this says that Jesus is the source of understanding. He gives us the gift of understanding. Jesus began demonstrating his understanding at an early age. In Luke chapter 2, verse 42, it says that Jesus was 12 years old when his parents went up to Jerusalem. Then in verses 46 and 47, it says, Now so it was that after three days they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the teachers, both listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. The word translated understanding is sunesis. It's spelled S-Y-N-E-S-I-S, pronounced sunesis. The word literally means mentally putting stuff together in your mind. You understand it. You get it. You make sense of it all. You can have understanding of who God is and what he's doing. And that's what we need today. We need to know what he's doing today. Mark chapter 12 verse 28 through 33 says, Then one of the scribes came, and having heard them reasoning together, perceiving that he had answered them well, ask him, Which is the first commandment of all? Jesus answered him, The first of all commandments is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. And you shall have the Lord and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first commandment. And the second, like it, is this. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. So the scribe said to him, Well said, teacher, you've spoken the truth, for there is one God, and there is no other but he and to love him with all the heart, with all the understanding, with all the soul, and with all the strength, and to love the neighbor, one's neighbor as oneself is more than all the burnt offerings and sacrifices. What I hadn't realized until I was studying the word understanding is what the scribe added 
when he was answering Jesus. Jesus said that there was one God and to love him with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. The scribe repeated that there is one God and to love him with all your heart. And then he adds with all the understanding before continuing with all the soul and strength. Why do you think he added the understanding part? I believe it's because Jesus was giving him understanding by what he was saying. He was given the scribe the gift of understanding. That's just my opinion. In 2 Timothy 2 verses 7 through 9, Paul says, Consider what I say, and the Lord give thee understanding in all things. Remember that Jesus Christ of the seed of David was raised from the dead according to the gospel, wherein I suffer trouble as an evil doer even unto bonds. But the word, this is the Logos, but the word of God is not bound. Remember from John chapter 1 verse 1 that says Jesus is the Logos? In these verses to Timothy, Paul is saying that the Lord gives the gift of understanding, but more than that, you need to understand that knowing and understanding Jesus and his words can accomplish his will because he can't be contained. His word is sharp and more powerful than a two-edged sword. I read that somewhere before. That wraps it up for today. Tomorrow we will look at the, the gift of crown of life. Be sure to read. <laughs> Be sure to click the red subscribe button if you haven't already so you don't miss any of these spiritual gifts. A big thank you to all the people who've already subscribed and share this with their friends. For the rest of you, feel free to share these videos with your friends and family on YouTube or on Facebook. Let us pray. Father, we're so thankful for you. We thank you, Lord God, for your son Jesus. We thank you for the Holy Spirit that can live in us and minister through us. Lord God, we're so thankful for this day that you've made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. And Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, that you answer prayers. Lord God, we thank you that you are a healer. You are a deliverer. You are a provider. You are a protector. And Lord God, we just pray, especially for the people in Ukraine, Lord God, the Christians who are there, we lift them up to you. We ask, Lord, that you would protect them from harm. Lord God, that you would work your will in those people. And Father God, we pray for the ones who are sick, Lord God, the ones who have been injured. We pray for healing and health to their bodies. In the name of Jesus, we just ask, Lord, that you would just help us this day to do everything that you call us to do. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Hope y'all have a great day today. Get out there and do what the Lord has called you to do. Amen.